Daisy from Design Squad. And I'm here with Elliot, Camille, and Mia. Today, we are balloon jousting. The stored air in the balloon pushes through the opening. This is called thrust. Yeah. The balloon uses jet power to move. What we're gonna do is we're gonna thread a string through the straw. We're gonna fill the balloon up with air. We're gonna tape a straw onto it. Each balloon will get one straw. And then we'll let the balloon go and the balloon will shoot up the string. So it's white versus orange. Jeff! They came together, the orange one ran out of air first, and the white one pushed it to the other side and won. <laughs> because this is balloon jousting, each balloon should have something pointy on the end. Balloons could try and pop each other. We're gonna put the skewer right here. Since we are working with sharp skewers, we need safety glasses. I think we should put it on the side so we have a better chance on hitting her. Okay. And we should have it as far out in front as we can. Jump! <laughs> I think that there was no popping because the air was released, the skewers shifted. Now it's blue versus purple. I'm gonna try putting my skewer on the bottom. I think when I do it this way, it'll stay pointing at the other balloon. I'm gonna put the skewer at the bottom of the balloon, just like Elliot did. Jeff! <laughs> the skewers were too low on the balloons, and they went under the balloons instead of popping straight in the middle. I think we should try the skewers on the front of the balloon. Then they could hit the balloon directly. I'm still gonna try my bottom technique. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> that worked very well. Uh, here's your balloon, Daisy. <laughs> well, at least part of it. <laughs> Mia came up with a really good idea. Putting tape on the front of the balloon where the skewer would hit it so that there's less of a chance of it being popped. I like it. Are the jousters ready? Yes. Three, two, one, joust! Instructions to create your own balloon joust are on the Design Squad website. I think it might have hit somewhere that wasn't protected with tape. 